Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again for another activity. This week we got a sketchbook challenge for you. So all you need is a sketchbook and a nice sharpened pencil and you're good to go. brought to us by YouTuber Nate from his channel Outrageous with Nate. We're gonna watch it and then after you watch it I will take my pencil and my sketchbook and I will do the challenge with you all. All right so check it out. Let's go make something. Everybody it is Nate coming to you live down in my basement slash studio. I am going to present a challenge to you. A, I was gonna say like 25 days, but honestly, what if it goes longer? So we're just gonna do it every day until honestly I come out of, I, I just run out of ideas. So day one, I uh, have a really cool challenge and I'm gonna let you know what you're gonna need first and then I'll show you what we're gonna actually draw. I've got Prismacolor color pencils here. I'm gonna use color pencils, but listen, honestly, every once in a while, I just break out my Crayolas with like the four pack. Does not matter, you do not have to use these. Sometimes I actually think it's better to limit how many pencils I have just because it pushes me to like blend the colors more. And then I am gonna obviously start this sketch with pencils, right? I've got, uh, I like personally using different shades of graphite. So I have from light to like a 2B up to like literally like uh, just chalk, dark, dark chalk. Okay, I've got a baby kneaded eraser here. This is my tiny eraser. I'm not gonna lie, I really don't like to erase. I figure if it's there, I just live on the Bob Ross method, right? Happy accident, let's just move on. Here's what I want you to do. Hopefully you have a device around, right? Maybe a phone or a tablet. If you're watching this, probably a computer. So if you have some way to take a photograph, you're gonna need that. If not, you can do this without a camera. You could actually just go to what you are going to see. So what I call this is the extreme zoom in. But here's the challenge. You gotta zoom in on something that if I show you, Later, it might take a minute to figure out like, what is that? I zoomed in on this. Now I've got, I'm not gonna say what it is just yet. But if you look at it, the first thing I thought of when I took the photo, I look kind of walked around my house and found this um, to take a picture of. I thought it looked like the back of like a massive ship, right? Just like the blades that would go around the propeller. But in fact, da, 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 it's not that. It's just a fan, it's a really old fan, it's a cool fan. Um, but I just loved the way it looked. I loved how old it was. And I also kind of didn't want to add a lot of color to my sketch. Now you can add as many colors as you want. I just wanted to push myself uh, to just use a limited palette. And the other is I liked the symmetry here, right? I've got the circle going, line down, line down. Everything's just got this like cool balance about it. And I'm gonna fill the page. I have this massive sketchbook. Listen, I got them in all sizes. I got them small, I got them big, I got them medium size. If you want, honestly, sometimes I do it on the iPad. Whatever you want to do. It does not need to even be this. If you just have some paper laying around, just get busy. Don't let anything get in the way of just making something. All right, let's get started. Quick tip, don't hold the pencil with a tight grip. Keep it loose in your hand. This allows you to make the lines light and flowing. This will make it a lot easier and honestly, pushing hard with tiny lines, it just makes it more difficult. For the shading on this project, I'm using a mixture of hatching and cross-hatching lines, basically lines that intersect each other going back and forth.
All right, I'm gonna stop here for now. I'll be sure to finish it and I'll post it later online so you can take a look. And by the way, I would love to see what you are working on. So please, post it online. Just use at OutrageousNate so I can make sure I see it. You can do it on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I guarantee you that I will be the one looking at it. Also, I've had a lot of you messaging me asking how you can support what I do and make more episodes. I really appreciate it. The easiest way to do that would be to leave a tip and you can do that and I'll put a link on the screen through Venmo. Again, anything helps and it helps me obviously make more of these. Okay, I will be back tomorrow. Make sure you check it out. I've got a new challenge. Just wait. Talk to you later. Now that we know that it's a zoom in challenge, I want you to take a look around you. What is an item that you can take a picture of, but not the whole item, zooming in on the item and doing your best to drawing that zoomed in shot with a pencil and your sketchbook. I just now walked around my house to look for any item that would be really cool to draw and I found my chessboard and I thought this horse piece would be pretty cool to do. So I took a picture of it. I know it's not an extreme close-up, but as I sketch, which you will see in the time-lapse video, I'm probably going to focus on the profile of the horse, the horse's face. Enjoy! Remember, this is strictly a sketching day, so all you really need is your pencil. Don't worry about outlining, don't worry about coloring, unless you want to. I'm doing my best to include a couple of the tips that Nate said in his video, such as shading and also crosshatching. Just take the time to relax and refine your drawing skills. Once you are done with your pencil drawing, take a picture of it and send it to your art teacher on Seesaw. Well, that concludes another art activity with us. Thank you for joining us on this sketchbook challenge and we will see you all next time. Oh. Checkmate, little Mr. Bologno. Ha <laughs> ha.